Welcome to Fuck Meat. I'm Daniela Fulham. Tonight, we'll be cooking one of my favorite vegetarian meals and an appetizer. First, we'll be making the dough for the cauliflower pizzas. You use a half a bag of flour in a huge silver bowl. Make a little center hole in your flour. You'll be using one package of rapid rise yeast. Put it in the center of your hole. Not that hole. Dirty minds. And stir. Once you're done stirring, you'll use some warm water. Use around three cups. So now, we'll be using our hands to do some dough mixing. Don't get nervous if the dough feels a little wet. So, in order to make sure you've got the proper consistency, you may need to add a little bit more water. This is what your dough should look like. It should be Gloppy. That's the correct word. Gloppy. Now we're ready to, to, to blend up the cauliflower. If you don't have a hand mixer or a bowl mixer, you can use a blender. I have the Ninja. So you can use two bags of the steam in the microwave cauliflower. I cheat. Two cloves of garlic. Two. And let's blend it up! <laughs> All blended up, ready to go. Now we take our cauliflower and garlic mixture and pour it into our dough. Mix it up! All right, guys, once you're all mixed up, like so, take a clean, dry towel, place it over your bowl, and put your bowl in your oven to rise for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, sorry. Make sure the oven is off, guys. And that's it. Now, while the dough is rising, we're gonna start on the tofu scrambled pie. So, cover the bottom of your, your big frying pan with oil, heat it on medium high, grab one full package of your favorite vegetarian meat crumbles, fuck meat, and get it in your pan. We're also going to use three links of your favorite vegetarian sausage, cut up small, like so. Make sure all the big chunks of your meat is all stabbed out. Now that we're stirring, make sure you don't burn anything. Now we're ready to put in the tofu. You're going to cut that into little squares, like so, and dump that shit right in. Woo -woo. Now, we're going to add a little seasonings. Some salt. Some regular black pepper. And my favorite, ground white pepper.
Now we're ready to add the peppers and onions. I've chopped up one red pepper, one yellow pepper, and one orange pepper. Also, one full medium-sized Vidalia onion. You can use organic. I did. Dump that shit right up in there. Make sure you stir it up. Mm. Looks yummy. Now it's time to fill the pie. In a clear pie dish, unroll your first pie crust. Make sure it's at room temperature and put it into your pie plate. Once you have that all set, you grab your mixture for the center and fill up your pie. It doesn't look pretty, people. However, it tastes yummy. Now that the pie crust is all filled up, Let's add some cheese. You're gonna put one nice layer of cheese over the top of the whole thing. Now time for the top crust. Place your top pie crust on top <laughs> and pinch your corners. Now, Time to cut into your pie to make it breathe a little. There we go. Now your pie is ready to bake. Now that our dough is risen, we're ready to make our little cauliflower pizza puffs. Coat the bottom of your pan in oil. Turn your power on to, to medium heat. And we're gonna get little plops of dough. And just plop those suckers right in. They can be big, small, whatever size you want. Now, we're going to flip these. Ooh, they look like little clouds of tasty goodness. Don't burn them. Look, this one looks like a heart. Oh, I love you too, cauliflower pizza. Now that you're done cooking your delicious cauliflower pizzas, present them on a plate. I've separated mine into two different plates because I plan on putting different dipping sauces with them. Here I've created a delicious ranch sriracha drizzle. All it is is ranch dressing and some sriracha mixed in. So what you would do is drizzle on top. And present. You can put the extra in a side bowl for dipping. On the second plate, I'll be doing a buffalo wing cauliflower pizza. So all you do is drizzle some buffalo wing sauce on. Ooh, yummy drizzle! And you take some blue cheese. And serve! Now it's time to remove our pie from the oven. Oh, that looks tasty. Cut and serve. Okay, time to eat. Yes, thank Here you, sweetheart. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't get any until you finish doing the dishes. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us for this first episode of Fuck Neat. Tune in next time for another delicious meat-free recipe.